What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Apocalypse Movies and the Movie Watching Challenge. We got episode five of our brand new show here at Apocalypse, and uh, we are back. Uh, my name is Jake Blinn. I am your host, and I am joined today by Brian and Keith. Uh, and we are here to be doing uh, two movies. One, uh, we will be covering Moulin Rouge, which I was challenged to last week by Brian. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will be given the honor of challenging someone, and Keith is here because I am challenging him. Um, and so, uh, ha first of all, have you seen Moulin Rouge? Yes. Okay, so I was the only one. Seen it about you. I was the only one who hadn't seen it, and so uh, Keith will kind of be chiming in as I kind of talk about it a little bit, um, and and then we'll get to what I'm gonna, what movie I'm gonna give Keith to watch over the over the week, and so I'm so curious. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's start off with uh, Mulan Rouge. So uh, we had the conversation on last episode of me not having uh, a big sweet spot for musicals, and that La La Land was really the only one that. I liked. Mm -hmm. um, it's Which not, I didn't know. I thought you actually really like. No, I, I can't. I can't really stand. I, it's not that I can't stand them. I just they're not my cup of tea. I um, I and and so uh, and it's it's not nothing against the genre. Like it's it's not a genre that's like, oh, this should not be in film or or something that I absolutely hate. It's, it's just, just not it's for just you. not for me. Yeah, same here. It's not for me. And so like um, slow movies for me. I I that was my entire. Thought process up until I saw La La Land, I was like mesmerized by La La Land, mm -hmm. and so um, I, I was definitely open to the idea of watching this movie. I've heard about it for a very, very long time. Um, it's always brought up in the conversation when musicals are brought up, and so um, I'm not surprised that I was challenged by it. Uh, and I watched it. Um, I watched it just a few days, a few days ago, and so uh, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. I'm like in between. Fair enough. Um, it's it's enjoyable. Uh, there are definitely moments where it's enjoyable, and that's mainly due to Ewan McGregor and Nicole Kidman. Like those two, yeah. Uh, I mean, they... in general, uh, when you separately, they're absolutely fantastic. McGregor will go down as one of my all-time favorite actors, strictly because of my love for him as Obi Wan Kenobi as a kid. Um, Nicole Kidman has been killing the business for decades now, and so yeah. um, it was interesting though because uh, as McGregor was singing, I, it didn't feel like his voice. It, oh, it definitely. It was, it, it, I, no, I know good. that it's him, but it didn't feel like it was his oh, voice. I know. I um, feel like but he's really good. And he's then, good. Yeah, yeah and, and, and Kidman as well. And, and yeah. the, some of the songs were actually were really strong as well. Um, I was more interested in the songs uh, overall and, and the performances. And um, I like seeing John uh, Leguizamo in there as well. He's my favorite. Player. Um, he's always good in everything he yeah. does. And so, uh, yeah, I, I definitely didn't hate it. Um, I'm glad I watched it. I'm not going to say I, I'm like, oh, I'm so bummed that I had to watch this movie for two hours or whatever it is. I'm not. I, I was I was glad that I was challenged it because I never probably would have watched it on my own. Um, and so, and that's exactly what the show is about. And so, um, do you, are you surprised by my reaction or is it kind of like on plane with what you expected? Uh, I expected you to like it a little bit more. I'm okay. not going to lie. I thought you would... Love Nicole Kidman. And I, I love I love that. I know, I do. but like to the point where you would actually like really like this movie. Like, so I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought that them alone were going to be like selling you to just liking it in For general. Them, usually, yes, but I think it's because it's a musical, which is why I'm not like, oh my god, this movie's amazing because of them alone. If it's a normal film. Usually, like a drama, and those two were starring, and I'm like, God, those performances knocked it out of the park and upped the movie for me. But because it was a musical, and because I have that feeling towards the genre, it may have slowed my feeling towards the movie down just a little bit. And I, I will admit that it probably that's probably La La Land? no, God, no, see, not even close. I completely feel the opposite. Not even close. La La Land is way out there and just like the distant galaxy above everybody else is in my it? opinion it is and i know i'm in the minority on that i, I feel that well, yeah, it is i saw it twice in theaters like i absolutely oh, wow. okay. yeah, I absolutely sang, adore that movie. for a couple weeks out. yeah so the city of stars just oh my god it's amazing. <laughs> but um yeah. so you're surprised by my reaction then a little bit a little bit okay. i didn't expect you to come back going like oh my god it's the greatest movie of all time but i thought you would say more than just I like it, so I liked it, and but it you gotta also remember for being a musical, I liked it as a really good response. Yeah, <clears throat> like I sure. haven't seen Les Mis. I've never That's seen. Actually pretty good. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen, seen The Greatest good. Showman. Like I, I haven't seen no, a lot of musicals and in, have I. in the past, and so it's just it's just because I'm not interested. I don't like. Same here. I'm the same I, I don't feel. 
interested in having the whole plot pause for five minutes while they break out in song Burst and then go song. back. I, I hate that too. Like, whereas, you know, A Star is Born, they're singing because it's the plot line. Well, they didn't really, like, do that, though. But they they kept moving. No, the song I, told but the story. but they broke but, out in song. But song is yeah, because like, it's a scene. <laughs> that's what I'm song, saying though. Song that's... being part of the dialogue, like the yes. you know what I mean, like the characters. Yes. Yeah. Unlike yeah. a Star Is Born, where they're performing because that's what they do in the film. Well, yeah, that's you know what I mean. Yeah, in the, in yeah the story. and so it and yeah. it's nothing against it. Like I, what they're able to do is film with musicals and the and the set productions and like these actors and actresses singing and everything is ridiculously talented but yeah. it's just not for me were you surprised so, by the ending I mean you can, actually you can't really be surprised by the ending being that you kind of see it throughout the whole entire yeah yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm surprised but I'm also not going to say that I expected it I'm kind of like yeah so so about it you know like or like I'll say in between a bit a yeah bit, so uh, but uh, hey I'm glad like I said I, I'm glad I watched it, it was I am huge. glad I watched I it you guys were Probably, I mean, probably you were pretty young at the time. It was huge when it came oh, out. It was I, big, well, he had mentioned that. With yeah, he watched it over and oh, over. Oh, really? so saw it at the time. I've probably seen that movie at the time, probably oh, at okay. least over thirty times. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, like, I, my, yeah. It was like my cousins were obsessed with it. Like it was a whole yeah. like family love. My sister was obsessed with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, so yeah. The big song, you know, the song, the the um, the. Uh, I can't think of the name of the song with Christina Aguilera and uh, oh, Mulan Pink Rick. and That's uh, Mulan Rouge. What was it called? Lady Marmalade. Lady Marmalade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was song huge. Much that song was everywhere at the radio. time, and uh, I don't remember it all that well. I saw it at the time. You know, I was the same way with you. Like at musicals, I just I'm not attracted to them. I always wind up seeing them somehow though. I'll like watch the, them, the bigger it's, ones. It's not like something like like oh my god. I, I hated watch Chicago. This. Chicago was like maybe. See, I've never year, seen Chicago either. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, seen... a, that's probably the only other musical I've seen. Yeah, I've never seen Chicago either. Like I, my musical, it's literally La La Land and yeah. now Moulin Rouge. Like yeah. and then the animated movies, obviously, which always break out in song at some point. Rent. But I hate yeah. Rent. I've never, never seen that. Rent. Like I, I don't have a musical experience, and, yeah. and maybe if I watched more, I would end up liking them. But my. My thought has always been, yeah, I don't want, just, I just I don't, don't like want. seeing a breakout in song. Yeah. That's just my feeling. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. So, um, but don't be bummed, man. I'm bummed. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I liked it. Yeah, I, I liked it. It was, it was good. <laughs> so uh, let's move on to the second portion of the show where I get the honor of challenging someone. And like I mentioned earlier, I'll be challenging Keith um, to watch a movie. Uh, don't worry. I think you're going to like this one. So, um, Have I seen the movie? Nah, God, no. You've never seen the movie. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think you've ever even heard of the movie. I don't even know if you've ever heard of the movie. Uh, it's a personal favorite of mine because the director is currently my favorite working director. Um, right, hold on, hold on, it's one see. of his one of his early films. Do you think you know what the director who the director Your is? Your favorite? Yeah. Director. Don't look at me. I don't know what now. <laughs> he says, oh, it's my favorite director for like, uh, everyone. Uh, let's see. He's he's a working current director. He's working right now. Does he have a film in the last? He's working on. A, yeah. Oh, he two, worked three on, years. He worked on a big one last year. Last year. Yeah. Uh, big in box office. No. Or just a, a big, guy. big like absolutely incredible film that I was looking forward to heavily. That was thirty years in the making. Hmm. Okay. Was it last year or was it the year before? I don't even know what he was now. <laughs> don't it was in know. the last two years. I have no idea. Every oh, film he's is made it? is absolutely insane. All right. Is it, uh, oh, I'm blanking on his name. Jeez, the Blade Runner director? Yeah. Uh, Denis Villeneuve. Uh, Villeneuve, okay. Yep. Yeah. Villeneuve. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're going to do his early incarnation film, Enemy, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, I've never seen that. Yeah, so yeah, uh, this was well, of course. So. Yeah, right. 2013. <laughs> no, I saw it. Yeah, uh, okay. 2013, Enemy. It's a, it's a much smaller film. Was this that 13? Is, okay. This wow. is the movie they got him prisoners. Um, this is where oh, this is before prisoners. this is before prisoners. Oh, and okay. so uh, he did prisoners after this, and he blew up and did the arrival and did Blade Runner, yeah. and and he did Sicario, all, Sicario. He did Sicario as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, okay. it stars uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. You got Hugh Jackman. Uh, uh, no, that's he's in prisoners. He's in. Prisoners. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, uh, okay. So Gyllenhaal, and then uh, Melanie Laurent, who was in oh, I love her. Uh, She's in, in uh, Bastards. Bastards, yes. Um, and then Sarah G- Gadon, uh, who's in uh, TV and a couple movies here and there. All but, right. Um, it's a very, very interesting movie. It's very different from uh, his his now movies and what he does now on the on the a bigger scale. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It's it's very it's it's not action oriented. Um, it's very similar to Sakari in the way that it dives into characters. Okay. Um, I absolutely love it. I found it a, a few years ago, and I was like, because I was on that his you know the wave of watching everything he was doing. Um, 
and it's one of my favorites of his. And every film he makes is remarkable. Yeah, but he is. It's one of my favorites of yeah. his, and uh, it's on Netflix. I found it on Netflix. Okay, so it is on there. Cool. Okay. Um, this movie looks weird. It's and it only <laughs> runs an hour and a half. It only runs I'm an hour and a half. I'm just looking at pictures. <laughs> and I'm like, I was about to look it up. I don't so, even really know. Don't look. Uh, I don't, I'm, okay, yeah. I'm very, very yeah. excited to see your reaction to this and how you feel about it because I absolutely love it. I think it's a great work of art that that got looked over the time because it wasn't really known. Yeah. Um, and Gyllenhaal is also my favorite working actor. That's so the thing. That's the, the Gyllenhaal part is. Yeah. I'm curious. This was before just... Nightcrawler. Like this was before yeah. all that stuff. And so, or a year before Nightcrawler, I should say, because uh, okay, Nightcrawler yeah, was fourteen. Was 14 yeah. So. Um, it's at that time he's... where he kind of started to kind of show up a little yeah. bit, uh, and I, I think it's one of his better performances too because there's a certain a certain uh, plot point I'll say that that makes that requires him to go. He just must. Be, I, I know that Jalen Hall is just crazy. In this yeah. movie. I know he's, he's <laughs> yeah. in everything he does. He's yeah. just like I, I just nuts. Yeah, I, I I remember confusing it as you just heard me. I mean, confusing it with Prisoners. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I just. Well, and it's got Jill and Hall's directed by Denis. He's Longway, in both of those, right? He is in both. So, yeah. 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 I just, okay. And it, it's the film before, so. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. Wow, I can't wait to watch this. Yeah, actually. it's on Netflix, yeah. so it'll be easy to watch. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to hear what you got to think about this yeah. one. I had a couple in mind, but I saw that. I was like, oh, I got to go with go with the favorite of mine. Because I, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I also feel like out of the three of you, you would probably appreciate this movie a little bit more. Um, sure. Well, I hope anyway. Um, well, I'm a guy that I, I love directors some of the director's guy. I think we're both yep. kind of director's yep. guys. Villeneuve is like a he's one of these guys like Nolan right now where just every everything thing is doing. he's doing every what maybe two or three years or so mm-hmm. and who knows what Nolan's doing right now but yeah I can't wait to especially early Villeneuve I can't wait yeah. to can't wait to see it, man. Yeah, he's well. He's doing Dune next too. Yeah, he is. He's That's doing right. Dune That's next, right. which is yeah. a big movie. For some reason, when you said that, I was in the beginning. I was like, oh, that's he's gonna challenge him to Dune. And I was like, wait. No, he's doing the remake. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, don't make um, But yeah, so uh, Enemy 2013, Jake Gyllenhaal, Denis Villeneuve. Yes. Um, it's on Netflix. Check it out. Uh, it's only an hour and a half, so it's not a very long watch. And so, um, Challenge accepted. Yeah, yeah, so uh, we'll be coming back next week for uh, the next episode. Uh, Keith will be reviewing the film, talking about it. I'll be here as well. And then Hale will be honored to uh, uh, challenge someone who will not be me. So it'll be either Brian or Jacob. Yeah. Um, and either one of them will be joining us on the show. And we'll have some fun doing this and, and kind of move on. And uh, But, yeah, I'm excited to see, to see what your thoughts are on this, man. Can't wait. Yeah, yeah definitely. So uh, come back next week for that episode. Find out uh, Keith's thoughts on Enemy as well as who he's going to be challenging. Also, head to the comments. Let us know what you think of Moulin Rouge. Um, and also Enemy if you have seen it without spoilers so Keith doesn't see anything. Head down there. We will definitely uh, get back to you as soon as we can. As always, thank you for joining us here on the Movie Watching Challenge. And we'll see you guys next time. Mm-hmm.